importance of this game, right? Because I feel like we've been saying it every week, like, versus the Colts. This is the most important game for the Bucks this year. Versus the Panthers. Okay, no, seriously, this is the most important game for the Bucks this year. Now against the Falcons, no, really, guys, I promise this one is the most important game for the Bucks this year. Billy, if the Bucks win this game, they're number one in the NFC South, which is mind-boggling to think about, considering where me and you were talking about this team two weeks ago, after we after they had lost to the Indianapolis Colts, the NFC South has been a mess. I mean, an absolute mess. This is a very important game. The Bucs are going in enemy territory against the Atlanta Falcons, a team that beat the Bucs earlier this year in definitely a winnable game for the Bucs. Why do you feel like this game is so important for this team? Well, you mentioned it when you talked about how we've been saying over and over again on a loop, this is the most important game. This is the most important game. And it's because the Buccaneers have kind of been in playoff mode for a little while now because they eat, ate away like all their leeway because they just took loss after loss after loss after loss. And then it became like, okay, our back's up against the wall. We really can't lose any more games. So yeah, they've been in like do or die mode for a little while now. So it's just the next game on the schedule, but this one is ultra important because of course it's a divisional game, the way the NFC South is playing out this year and did last year as well. Tiebreakers are going to be everything. So the Buccaneers are in this weird, murky, kind of gross-ish spot where if the Bucs lose every non-divisional game they have left but win their three remaining divisional games, the record won't look great, but that could be enough because they'll have tiebreakers and they could nudge their way in. They'd be 8-9 at how- that point. Right. It looks ugly. Nobody wants to be eight, nine. And, and, you know, that shouldn't, in theory, be enough to get you into, you know, a home playoff game. But in reality, you'd have the tiebreakers. You'd only have one loss in the division at that point, And that would have been nullified by coming back and beating the Falcons the second time around. And you would be in a situation where you would have you'd be it'd be an advantageous position to be in. Could it happen? You know, is that how it's going to play out? Of course, there's many factors that go into it, but this game is the most important because this team is the team ahead of you. It's a divisional game when tiebreakers are going to be crucial. And it's a team that beat you in a very, like you said, painfully winnable game the first time around. Painfully winnable. I mean, painfully winnable game. So this time around, you would hope, kind of rolling off the momentum of last week and the Falcons looking like... (laughs) as uh, they beat the jets in the least convincing way possible so you would hope the buccaneers have enough like in the tank to get up for this game and roll through it because they need the cushion that they could take you know two losses in the next two weeks up against the packers and the jaguars the two toughest remaining teams on their schedule they got to win this week to potentially cushion the blow of losing those two games so that they could come back and win the next two in division and finish out the season uh, three of their last five. There you go. Yeah, no, it, I I agree. I think that obviously the division games that are left are the most important ones. And we're going to be ta- – but, but this one is the most important of the divisional games. Because right now as it stands, the Saints, they're in a behind situation. The Panthers – I'm sorry. I'm just sorry this has happened to you. This is a very unfortunate situation. And, you know, look, I, I, that's just not, you know, not fun tough for them. Year to be Panthers fan. Tough year. Yeah, very tough year. But the Falcons game is important. Obviously, yeah. it's very important. That's that's not just battle for first place in the NFC South, Billy. Like, that is for the real leverage in the division yeah. for the remainder of of this go around right for the remainder of this season you know about for the last month this game is going to set that table for ooh, you know what 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 does each of these three teams battling for first place sorry carolina panthers but those three teams what are they looking at if the bucks lose this game dramatically lowers their chances of of being in a position to make the playoffs dramatically lowers it. However, if they win, wouldn't necessarily say that they are in the driver's seat, but they're riding passenger right there with the Falcons. Like they're, they're both right there at the front of the car, so to speak. And the saints are looking a little bit behind the Panthers. Well, uh, they crashed like 
two months ago. So I don't I don't really know what's happening with them. And again, I'm so sorry, <laughs> Panthers fans. But we are, um, both wearing, we are both wearing the blue, though, to we, support. Yeah, a little light blue for the Panthers today, I guess. Yeah. But point being is that, yeah, like, and look, I know people are going to say the Bucks making the playoffs could be the worst thing for this team for the yeah. future or whatever it may be. Cause that means they're going to keep Todd Bowles for anybody who doesn't want Baker Mayfield, you know, I'm part of the Baker brigade, but uh, that means that, that, that means that Baker w- would probably be sticking around, but ultimately we're, we're all just fans. <laughs> like the organization wants to win football games. The coaching staff wants to win football games. So yeah, duh. They want to go out there and make the playoffs and win the division. Right. Now, fans can have different opinions about that. It's a very subjective type of of situation. But ultimately, yeah, the team wants to go out there and win these games and make the playoffs. Duh. So it's going to be a very important game to them. The Bucs hopefully aren't going to come out and just completely flop on the ground like we have seen in in a couple of, of situations in the past. It hasn't been great overall like this this is the this is the and and i'm gonna tell you this right now billy this is the game where not only can the buccaneers kind of take control of their destiny for the remainder of the season these are the types of games where whether you love them or not whether you want to see him be the coach or not this is the game where todd bowles has to really turn it around right and, I, and again, regardless of what people's thoughts and opinions are on Bulls, that's fine. We're not going to talk about that right now. Uh, Billy, I don't think, you know, you 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 would disagree that, yeah, if Bulls wants to prove that he can hang as a coach and yes. win those winnable, need-to-win types of games, he's got to come out and get a win against Atlanta. Yes, the Fa- yes. This is, I think, really what you're – the Falcons are – this is a narrative game. Right. It's a very important game for a lot of individuals because it's a narrative altering game. Todd Bowles, he's a defensive guy, right? He cannot lose to Desmond Ritter twice. It just can't happen. I mean, Desmond Ritter is like, it just can't happen. Okay. Desmond Ritter lost the job to Taylor Heineke. It's just unacceptable. It cannot happen. The Falcons are not this juggernaut, right? So yeah, it's an alter, it's a narrative alter, it's a narrative altering game for Bowles. And it's also a narrative altering game for Baker Mayfield. Because he also can't lose to Desmond Ritter and then expect to come back as the starter and walk around with his chest out. These things cannot happen, right? Because Desmond Ritter is not going to give you 25 plus points. So it's for the Bucks. it's okay. We expect him to not score a lot. We should get some turnovers if you're bowls in the defense. And for Baker Mayfield, it's like if I can get three touchdowns on the board, it's unlikely we lose this game. All right. So it's for both of them, it's a really big narrative altering game if they lose it's doom and gloom the world is collapsing if they win it's like well yeah that was what you were supposed to do and you did it so you earn a little bit of the your your stripes and that credibility the other thing i think about the falcons they're not a uh a great team but they're also a a solid team and what i mean by that is the falcons are not going to actively give you the win they're not going to lose it. They won't go out and win the game because they're not an, an, an overly talented team that's just going to beat you down, but they will do their best to hold on to it. The Buccaneers are kind of the opposite. They're not as fundamentally sound. They're more ebbs and flows, kind of like a roller coaster. They're going to take the game at times, and they're also then going to give the game away at times. So the Buccaneers have to be at their – kind of be on their P's and Q's because the Falcons are steady Eddie. You know, you kind of know what they're going to give you. It's not going to be too flashy. It's not going to be too pretty, but it's also not going to be treacherously bad either. They're going to hang around. It's going to be most likely an ugly game. Neither team is likely to get blown out. So the Buccaneers are going to have to play 60 full minutes of football, which has not been the strong suit of the team this year. A lot of flash in the pan moments and then moments. They get to play 60 full minutes against a team that's pretty hard nosed and pretty physical and wants to run the football play some defense and if the Buccaneers can do that then they're the more talented team they should be able to win and they deserve the win I just think the Falcons they're not going to give it to you they're they're not the kind of team they're not going to choke it away and hand you a victory no I agree and I think the biggest thing the biggest takeaway is what you just said like narrative game right you had games earlier this year that not just fans look at but 
to, uh, you know, but that Jason Light probably looks at, that the Glaziers probably look at, that first game against the Falcons, that Houston Texans game where you yeah. lose those winnable games. Yes. This is yeah. the time to flip the, the Indianapolis Colts game. You know, this is the time to flip that around, right? Now the only, is the time. The only good narrative game the Bucks have had, because those are all bad narrative games, right? They, they did not win. The narrative was anti buck The good narrative game was against the Saints. When the Bucks beat the Saints in the Dome, that flipped the narrative, throttled it up, because you're like, wow, the Buccaneers are 3-1 and one and just beat our arch nemesis in their building. Baker played well. The offense looked crisp. Defense shut down Derek Carr. We were like, man, Jameis came in and threw a pick. You were like, man, like, that was a really positive narrative-altering game. Haven't had one since. They've been negative. All the narrative opportunities have been missed for the Buccaneers, and they've just they've just missed their opportunities, really. This is, like you said, it's an opportunity to get back to that positive, good vibes feeling. Yeah, get one of those wins back, right? And, and, and really just, again kind of take more control of your destiny here yeah. right again like you said if they lose uh, that's not good i mean that's that's when like you genuinely might be saying like okay like it's it's probably gonna be the falcons winning the division here and the bucks are fighting for second place because then you have to if if the bucks go zero and two versus the falcons then you really need to have a better record than that then tiebreakers aren't necessarily doesn't help you you need to actually be a full game better. If you split with them, all of a sudden you can kind of cheese it with tiebreakers. The fact that you beat the Saints twice or beat the Panthers twice and split with them, then there are other, you know, you can finagle it. If you just lose 0-2 to them, you're in a tough spot. Yeah, yeah, I agree. So that's, that is what makes this game so important, Billy. There's a lot of narratives with this. There's going to be a lot of things coming after this game, be it good or bad. And uh, we'll see if the Bucks you know, are going to answer that call here and what has been both of our opinions, the most important game of the year.